Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have a project share and a tutorial for this gift idea for Christmas gifts. Um, like a lot of parents, I give school pictures out every year of my kids to grandparents and aunts and uncles. And uh, lots of times I give them in frames, but um, you know, after a while, the recipients, they have the frames already and they just put, they just need an updated picture to put in them. So I don't give them frames anymore. I just give them the print. But then um, you want to present them in a nice way and you want them to be secure as well and not, you know, not get damaged. So I figured out a way to make uh, policy envelopes to fit a five by seven print. So um, this is just an example. This is a five by seven piece of paper and these are policy envelopes. And as you can see, they fit very nicely in there with a lot of room to spare. If you use nice heavyweight cardstock, the picture print will be um, perfectly safe and secure. And this is such a festive way to present them as well. So I used um, double-sided paper, like I said, and I added some stitching just for an accent. It's not functional at all, so you don't have to add stitching. Um, I will show you how to make these circles and to add the strings. So that's the way it it closes just like a regular policy envelope. When you open it, because it's double-sided, there's a pretty print on the inside as well. So this is the first one I made. All the papers I used, uh, the new Dear Santa collection or paper pad from Joann's and it's by DCWV. This is the other one I made. I love this print. I think he's so cute with the little forest animals and it's pink, of course, I love it. And this one I used some star eyelets and just to add a, you know, a festive touch, I thought. Um, I don't add any decorations to the other side of them. Uh, the idea is to keep these pretty flat for me anyway. So, I mean, you can go crazy and add whatever kind of decorations you want. I think I'm just going to add like a gift tag on this side. Um, this is the next one. This is a cute little Santa print. And I use gold thread in all of them for the stitching and different color eyelets, just depending on the print, just to see what would go nicely. This one, as you can see, I used like a light green eyelet. I thought that was cute. I kind of messed up that one when I was punching it. I don't know what happened, but you know, it is an envelope. Um, chances are the recipient's not going to save it. They might, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. It's just, I think, a fun way to present pictures. Um, you know, if you have smaller pictures, you can use this as well. Um, I based this tutorial on Armin, um, who is Happy Mail Queen. She has a excellent policy envelope tutorial, which I will link down below. And she inspired me, inspired me to make this size one and this one in Christmas prints for gifts. So let me tell you what you're going to need. First, you'll need some 12 by 12 paper, um, double-sided preferably. If not, no big deal. Just, you know, it'll be white on the inside. Um, you're going to need a crop dial, which sets your eyelet and punches the holes. You're going to need a corner rounder, and I just use the crop dial one that I have. It's the corner chomper. And you're going to need some eyelets and some double-sided tape. And I have this one from Alina Craft. I think this is the quarter inch size one, but anything that or a little smaller would be fine. You're gonna need some twine. You're going to need either, well, if you have a, a circle punch, that's great. Um, I just have a die, so I use uh, a, a circle die, and that is one inch. Uh, you're going to need, like I said, the paper, and then you're going to need a little thing of scrap paper to cut out the circles. So those are all the supplies. Let me just move them over. Um, you'll also need a paper trimmer and a scoreboard. So let me get out my paper trimmer. This is the one I have. It's the Cricut one. Okay, so what you're going to do is take your 12 by 12 paper and you're going to make it 11 inches high and leave it 12 inches for the width. So just cut an inch off. Uh-oh, my um, blade came off the thing. Oh, let me find that. Hold on one second. 
Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. The, just the blade came off, so I had to put that back. All right, so now we are ready to cut our paper. So we're just going to cut an inch off so it's 11 inches on one side. The other side you're going to keep at 12 inches. Okay, so you have 11 up and down and 12 um, for the width. All right, and then what you're going to do is get your scoreboard out. And the part that you cut off... You can actually use this to make your circles for the closure. You know, just use the reverse print because it'll automatically coordinate. I think I'll do that. All right, let me get my scoreboard out. Okay, and this side is going to be the front or the outside. So I'm gonna turn it over and score on the inside. All right, so. We're going to score at three and one eighth on each side. Okay, so three and an eighth. And then just turn it around and do three and an eighth on the other side. And that's gonna be your flaps that come together like that. Okay, and then turn it over, make sure you know which is your top. It doesn't really matter on this print because it's just a scattered print. But if you have a print that's directional, you'll wanna you know, take note of which is the top. So turn it over, have the top over here on this side, and you're gonna score two inches down. That's gonna make the top flap. Okay, so two inches. Okay. And then for the bottom flap, just turn it so the bottom is in the corner, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch. And that just makes a small flap at the bottom. Three quarters. Like that. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see on this paper actually. But you have four boxes in the corners. Down here you have a box made with those score lines on this side as well, and then on top they're a little bit bigger. Let's see, So we're going to cut out the corners on each corner. All right, so let's do that. Just use your scissors. Easy peasy so far, right? It's actually a very easy project. And I like to do this for pictures because I you know I send um, a lot of my Christmas presents in the mail especially to like grandparents and stuff if they're not here on Christmas and this year you know I really don't know if they're gonna be or not so um, this way you don't have to wrap up a glass frame you know we'll pay for the shipping for that okay and the bottom it's the smaller uh, rectangle so we'll just cut that out too On this grid paper it's kind of hard to see where the crease is but it's easier if you have like a you know just a regular kind of print not one with lines like this one okay so there is the envelope that's all creased and cut out I'm just gonna move the um, scoreboard all right let me get out my bone folder so we can fold these flaps and make it look nice. So just fold it on the score line. Take your bone folder or, you know, whatever kind of straight edge you have and just smooth out the fold lines. And then for the top as well. And the bottom. I'm gonna round these corners next. Sometimes you gotta like press it. I guess that's what the bone folder does. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna get my corner rounder and round all these corners. You don't have to do that. I just like the way it looks. Okay, so we're gonna do the top flap. And then the bottom ones too. Okay, 
so now both the flaps are rounded. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, this is where the optional stitching part comes in. Okay, and I, I just really like the way it looks. Let me show you one that I did before, right? It just adds some dimension. Oh, I really messed that one up. I don't know what happened, but. Um, <laughs> uh, especially if you use decorative thread, like I use metallic gold thread here, it just looks nice and, you know, it's festive. So what I'm gonna do is go to my sewing machine and stitch around the top flap, stitch around the bottom flap, and um, I'm gonna stitch down this side, not holding them together. I'm just gonna stitch open like this. It's just decorative. You're not stitching anything closed, okay? So I'm gonna go stitch this, this, and this, and I'll be right back and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back and I finished stitching. Um, this is what I stitched on the side. Like I said, not closed, just a decorative stitch. I stitched the bottom flap, also not closed, and the top flap, which you definitely don't want to close yet anyway. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add the eyelets. So um, while I was away, I also cut out a couple of one-inch circles from the same paper, and I'm going to make this the top. Um, okay, so take your crop dial and... Well, this is what I use, okay? There are two different hole sizes. There's a small one and a big one. Use the bigger one and punch a hole, you know, pretty much in the center of your circle. Just eyeball it. I'm going to do that for both of them. Okay. So we have our two circles. Then you're going to get some coordinating eyelets, whatever kind you like. Um, I think for this one, we'll use, should we use gold? Why don't we use the gold stars since I have gold thread? That would be nice. Okay, and you're going to get your twine out as well. Okay, so for the top, you're going to install one on the top flap. Okay. So just figure out approximately where you want it to be. It's gonna be like in the middle, just a little bit above the edge of the stitching. So I'm just gonna keep my thumb where I wanna punch it and punch a hole with your crocodile right there. Obviously, I don't measure, I just go with eyeballing. All right, so the next step is you're, you want the twine to be stuck under the eyelid so it holds on, okay? So what I do is I just hold a piece of twine. Oh, look at that, it's red and white, it goes with the candy canes. Cool. Just hold the twine right near the hole. Okay, then put your eyelid, oh wait, put your circle and then your eyelid on top of that. And the eyelet's gonna, whoops, the eyelet's gonna go through both of those holes, holding on to the string. Wait, let me do this part first. This will make it easier. This Sometimes these eyelets, like these big star ones, they take a lot of pushing in to get them. All right, let's try that again. So you take your string, and make sure the eyelet will cover the string. There we go. We can just tuck that down. We'll just pull it down to make sure it's in there. Okay, and then you take your the setting tool on the crop dial. I have it set to the correct settings. Make sure it's the right side. <laughs> and then you're going to set your eyelet. Like so. Just squeeze it. And that's what it looks like on that side. Sorry, I got a phone call, so I had to stop it. But um, okay, so the string is behind the eyelet. It's taut in there. It's not going to go anywhere. And so you have the first one done. Okay, so then you're going to fold your uh, envelope sides, have the stitching part on the outside, and you're going to figure out where you want your next hole to go. All right, so you could go ahead and put your eyelet into the circle. Might as well do that first, right? 
and just close it and you want it you know a couple inches away it's going to be right on the edge of the side right on the edge of the side <laughs> right on the edge of the center okay so again just eyeballing it I'm gonna have it about here I'm gonna take my crocodile and punch a hole right next to the stitching okay and then you're going to put your circle and eyelet through that hole that you just punched and set it. Okay, so now the eyelet is set in there. So it's going to fold down like this and then you'll wrap it around. Of course, first we have to seal the envelope, seal the side shut and the bottom flap shut. So this is where you take your um, double-sided tape. Uh, where's the end? There it is. Okay. And then I just, I just put it right on top of the stitching all the way up to the hole. On this side and just cut it off at the bottom and then do the same thing on the top just go down to the hole like so okay and then before I peel it off I go to the bottom flap and here you just put it close to the edge All the way along the bottom flap. Just cut it off. You could totally use wet glue if you want. I wouldn't recommend hot glue. Okay, so you're gonna peel off the side ones first. I love this tape from Alina Craft. It just peels off so easily. Okay, and bring the one flap down and then press this into place. And then take off the tape from the bottom flap. And press that one down. You could get out your bone folder if you'd like. Uh, so the envelope is set. Now we have to cut the string. So I usually go around a few times and then cut it. So the idea is to go behind the circle. So you might have, just have to lift it up a little bit to get started. And then just do like a couple of crisscrosses. How many times as you want? I usually go around like that and then cut it off here. Get the idea. So that's our policy envelope. That is the perfect size for a five by seven card with a little bit of room to spare. You could even put a few in here if you have a few kids. And it's a nice way to present it. Keeps it safe. And I think it's really festive. Of course, you could vary this for birthdays, for you know any sort of holiday. You could even make these just to send embellishments in or you know send to crafty friends. So. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I have some more crafty videos coming up and I hope you guys have a wonderful ho holiday season. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.